With me today is Ben Freed, who is the CIO of Google. Ben, it must be a, a pretty tough job of being in charge of technology in a technology company. You know, my audience, my users include the people who invented the tools that my people use, right? So uh, not only is everyone a critic, which is, I think, something every CIO is used to, but these are really expert critics. So what makes it hard is, I think, also one of the elements that makes it great. Do you welcome technology, consumer tech, being brought in by, by your users? So, I mean, obviously, there's this phenomenon called BYOD, which is huge in the industry right now. As long as they agree to allow us to manage these devices and allow us to, uh, you know, wipe them if they lose them, for example, uh, for the right sets of devices that they might bring to work, we do support them. One of the other big trends, obviously, has been uh, the cloud over the last few years. And I think you refer to last year as being a sort of tipping point yes. in terms of adoption. Can you explain what you mean? My assessment last year was that we had reached the point where enterprises not only could no longer ignore it, but had to acknowledge that they lived in this world. That was the tipping point. I think this year now, I would say, that ship has sailed. We're, we're done. We're beyond that. Forrester did a survey last year that reported that 53% of the workforce was using their personal consumer technology to solve work problems for their work, right? And I think that that's a great example of just how much the cloud has entered the workforce, whether the CIO and IT are aware of it or not. Do you, do you think that software as a service or the delivery of uh, IT via the cloud is going to be the way that all business is done in future? What software as a service does is it allows small businesses and medium-sized businesses much more economically to gain access to the same classes of enabling technology as only large enterprises were able to get in the past, right? So I think that software as a service actually has this interesting dynamic on the entire business landscape, small, medium, and large size enterprises. And that coin has a flip side that applies to large enterprises, which is that they can now deploy the same kinds of nimble, customer-centric, user-centric technologies that small businesses are able to use to move with great velocity. So I do think that it, it is, there's this game change underway. Another big buzzword in enterprise technology is big data. What does big data mean to you? Fundamentally, it's kind of baked into the DNA of everything that we do because any service that we provide will have a set of big data problems. I think when I look at the enterprise landscape and the business landscape in general, people look at big data as an opportunity to use unconventional tools to solve problems and answer questions they couldn't answer before. And I think it's, in that sense, it's a really, really interesting enterprise technology. The big data problems of 10 years ago, uh, Moore's Law and the, the increasing density of disks and so on, have turned into small data problems. Absolutely. And I guess other big data problems of today will follow the same yeah. path. Yeah, yeah. We, we used to joke at a, a company I was at that our data problems were the domain of two or three iPods. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Some people think the role of the CIO is changing dramatically at the moment, it might even go away in some sense. What do you think about the role of the CIO? So I think it is changing, and I think you know, good CIOs understand that because technology has always been so fast moving, the roles have always changed. But a number of factors, I think largely stemming from these macroeconomic factors driven by consumerization of technology, have made us in a, a new time, a unique time for CIOs, which is that more and more one's users doesn't, don't need you to do an awful lot of what they once did. And I think that CIOs have to understand, I think there still is a role for CIOs. I think they're absolutely important, but I think that they have to make sure that they are in the job, in the business of empowering their users and embracing a deep understanding of what they need as opposed to dictating to their users, for example. And I think that if they understand that that's their role and it's a IT is about a collaboration to empower, enable, and inspire the workforce with technology. I think CIOs will always have great roles. If they don't view the role in that way, they'll discover that they're needed for less and less of their portfolio. Ben, Ben Fried, thank you very much for your time. Now, thank you so much.